All right, so if you're going to make cocktails for YouTube, at some point you have to make a martini on camera. Now, I've already showed you guys my three favorite martini recipes, but today I wanted to show you guys a different martini. This one is not necessarily my favorite, but it's very important because it was part of the transition that took us out of the 20th century and into the 21st. The martini started out life being either two to one gin and vermouth, or maybe even one to one, and it had orange bitters in it. But by the end of the 20th century, that recipe had turned into two or three ounces of vodka, tiny little bit of vermouth and maybe some olive brine if you're feeling dirty. And after 150 years, you know, it's not that unreasonable to see a recipe change that drastically over time. But in the last 30 years, somehow that original recipe with a very different ratio and different ingredients has become kind of the, the pinnacle and the standard of the martini again. So how do we go from slowly changing over 150 years from one place to another and then back again in 30 years? Well, part of that is the legacy of Sasha Petrosky and his willingness to make a martini different than everyone else was doing it because he believed that it was better. So today, without any further ado, I wanna show you guys the preferred recipe of one of the pillars of the modern cocktail movement. <music> So today's recipe comes from my favorite bar book regarding cocktails by Sasha Petrosky. And I'm gonna try and follow the instructions exactly to the letter. We're gonna build it in a mixing glass and we start with a full ounce of dry vermouth from my favorite brand, Dolan. And yes, you heard me right, a full fluid ounce. For this to work, you've got to use fresh vermouth that hasn't started tasting funky from being in a cupboard too long and pick out a brand that you like well enough to consume neat without cringing. Next, we'll need two ounces of London Dry Gin. You can choose whatever gin you like. This gin is called Constant Reader, a product of Temple Distilling, a local Seattle area distillery, and it's intended to be a workhorse mixing gin. I quite like it, but Beefeater or Tanqueray would be great choices for readily available gins worldwide. Then I'll add a little cracked ice and a large solid cube and stir the cocktail until it's nicely chilled and a bit diluted. Then I'll strain it into a coupe that really should be chilled, but it isn't because it's better for filming. Lastly, I'll pull a thin lemon twist over the coupe so that the lemon oils fall onto the top of the cocktail. Give the lemon twist a bit of a wrap around my finger to make it all fancy and lay it on top. And there you go, the martini according to Sasha Petrosky. All right, moment of truth, time to taste this. And truth be told, I have never tasted this exact recipe before, but just smelling it, I can tell you, this is a freaking good martini. So I'm gonna shut up and taste this. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. It's balanced, it's refreshing, it's not just a glass of gin with a touch of vermouth, it's a balanced cocktail. The Constant Reader Gin and the Dolan Vermouth are excellent pairing. If you were doing like Gordon's plastic bottle with old Martini and Rossi, I don't know if this would actually be that good, but I'm using high quality vermouth that I really personally like the flavor of. It's fresh, and I'm using a really good quality London Dry Gin. It's like Beefeater, but more. Like think of Beefeater plus 15% on the breadth and depth of the flavor. It's a fantastic, fantastic gin. I'm not an olive guy, and if I put a cocktail onion in this, it's a Gibson, so that just leaves us with the lemon twist, which personally I think makes this much more of a refreshing cocktail. I genuinely thank God for the work of men like Sasha Petrosky for really reviving the spirit of this cocktail by bringing it back full circle to almost where it started. Because if the vodka martini with a touch of rancid vermouth was still the standard, I wouldn't like it. And I think this cocktail has been very significant to me because it made me realize that there isn't something wrong with my palate, that maybe there's something wrong with the way we're making these drinks and maybe that's why I don't like them. Now, I wanna clarify, if you don't like this martini, you don't like this martini. If you prefer three ounces of vodka and a tiniest little bit of vermouth, drink that if that makes you happy. I think it doesn't make a lot of people happy, but this 
This is, a, this is a totally different experience. And this is why it was so pivotal. And in 20 years, we went from the bad cocktail era to the cocktail explosion now where everybody understands you don't use old vermouth. You know, you can put a one to one ratio and it's still delicious. And then if it's not, you did something wrong, you know? So whether or not this is your favorite, I think we all owe something to Sasha for this incredible drink because it helps set a new paradigm for the cocktail industry and home bartending like mine. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, smack the dislike button and tell me all about it in the comments. My name is Luke, this is the Homemade Edition, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this drink. Cheers.